Hi folks, Scott Glorvigan here with Wired to Fish, and I want to share with you a little bit about the pontoon market. It's one of the fastest growing segments in the boating industry. They're great to go out on the water, relax and enjoy and take the family. One of the things about pontoons is your motor's in the back, you have your gauges up here at the helm, and you may not have access to all the information that you want. Mercury introduced a pretty neat product. It's called Vessel View Mobile. This gives me smart craft information at my fingertips on my smartphone when I download the app, and it's easy to do. If I can install this, anybody can. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, here's the kit. This is all that's to it, uh, and you can use this on a variety of Mercury outboard motors. It's a great way to get connected even more to your outboard motor through this format. Pretty simple. Basically, here's the directions on the inside. There's a manual that goes with it. What you have here is basically the SmartCraft Bluetooth module, the harness, the 10-pin plug-in, and uh, that's it. Also, you have some little zip ties or screws, depending on how you want to mount it on the motor or on the helm. In this situation, we're going to mount it on the 154 stroke uh, and show you how simple it is. Okay, all you want to do is take the hood off the motor. Here's the harness for the Vessel View Mobile. It's pretty easy uh, to install. Basically, what you want to do is on the motor, and this 150 has a terminator connector that goes into where the 10-pin harness is, all right? Here's the 10-pin connector, and all you do is simply slide it on. Here, click into place. Now we're connected. The other thing you want to do at this point, on the other part of the harness, remove this piece and take the terminator that you had on the motor, and you put that on there, you're good to go. Now the only thing I have left to do is I'm gonna hang this on the side of the motor somewhere uh, so it's out of the way and I think I'm just gonna put it back here. So then that way it's underneath the cowling and if you need to look at it, you have a couple lights here that will blink showing you that the unit is on. Okay, now to initiate it, all you wanna do is turn your key to the on position. What'll start happening is the lights will start flashing you can kind of see there the green lights. The one green light on SmartCraft indicates that it's on. I've got power to the unit. And the Bluetooth light is flashing. And that'll flash to establish a Bluetooth connection to your smartphone. All right, here's the Mercury Vessel View mobile app. And uh, what I have on it already is from one of the other boats. I have my Lund Renegade with the 115 Pro XS already registered on that. So what I want to do uh, is add another boat. So it says add boat. I'm going to do that. We'll hit that there. It's scanning for devices there. So it's what it's doing is looking for the connection through the Bluetooth to the motor, the 150 here on the pontoon. And you can see that it's getting ready to activate that. So it'll scan for that. But it's pretty easy to set the boat up. Basically, what you want to do is add a new boat basically there is the name we're going to put lund pontoon number of motors runs we'll add the serial number the amount of fuel that we have on it and then you'll save that information and then that'll connect to the vessel view mobile you see it's starting to do that right now and there's lots of great information. You can get connected to your dealer so you'll be able to contact him if you have any issues, so forth and so on. So pre-departure checklist you can set up, equipment. Also the equipment, you have everything on board, which is nice for pontoons because you have lots of uh, compartments you can store stuff in. And then you're uh, good, ready to go. Now the Lund pontoon is now connected to my Vessel View Mobile on my smartphone. We got the information on my smartphone and you can see right now I fired the motor up. It's idling at 660 RPM, 650 RPMs. One of the things you want though, as opposed to keeping the phone in your pocket, you want to have it up where you can see it. And what I have here on the dash is it's called a rock mount. So you can use it while you're navigating with the pontoon. A couple things to be aware of. I like to have it always powered up. So I've got the uh, smartphone charger plugged into the uh, USB port. So that way I've always got power to my cell phone. 
But what I wanted to do was mount it right on the, uh, the center of my dash so it's easy for me to see, as well as I can look at the different pieces of information that I have on the smartphone as I'm touring around the lake. So I got my RPMs, I can look at my oil pressure, I can look at my oil temperature, water uh, pressure, water temperature, so forth and so on. Lots of things you can choose to look at so you can kind of set it up, customize it to meet your needs. One thing I like about this is the fact that I've got analog gauges here. Just shows fuel, RPMs, RPMs here, uh, miles per hour, but I don't have that temperature. And a lot of times when I'm tooling around with a pontoon, I may not see weeds getting caught on the intake of the motor or something like that. By having this information here, I'll get an alert if the motor's starting to heat up because I'm not getting proper uh, water intake. The alarm will go off, it will show me in a prompt here that I'm dealing with a uh, situation with the motor so I can shut it down and see what's happening. Uh, that's what I love about the Mercury Vessel View Mobile is I have all this information right here at my fingertips at the helm and I don't have to worry about what's going on in the back of the boat regardless if I have a bunch of people on the pontoon or if I'm out just tooling around.